Okay, well, another little video about the Commodore PET. It's time to show some of the games. Uh, Space Invaders particularly, now we have the sound rigged up. And also to showcase the PET SD+. Plus. More about that later. So this is Space Invaders, which was the same game that we've shown in the first video. However, uh, now we have this uh, rigged up to a small battery-powered uh, speaker. And we can have sound. Unfortunately, you don't get sound in the demo mode. You actually have to play the game. We'll play the game. Space Invaders on the Commodore Pet with sound. Well, this is the Pet SD Plus available from Dave Stevenson, and I shall put a link to his website in the description. And this basically allows you to load and save files uh, on the Pet to a standard SD card which is extremely useful because you can download stuff from the net copy it onto an SD card pop it in the pet SD plus and it will then load onto the pet I don't know whether the camera will focus on the display the uh, LCD display is optional you don't actually need it but it's quite useful because it allows you to browse through the files on the SD card uh, using the buttons on the actual pet SD plus itself as you can see, it has a IEEE 488 cable plugged into the back of it, and it plugs into the PET's IEEE 488 uh, connector on the back, where you would normally plug in a floppy disk drive, for example. Uh, anyway, we'll see this in action in a minute. game which is uh, an excellent example of what you can do on the pet with limited graphics Take a little while to actually generate the, uh, the maze. Now, 
asked you whether you want to see it before you start playing the game, so we'll say yes. And there it is. Boom. We enter here, and we have to get all the way around and out from there. You can move forward and left and right. So it's quite simple. Uh, the program draws the maze in 3D, which is quite cool. The left and right command simply turn you on the spot, so you haven't actually moved forward when you do that, you just change the direction of the There is a help function which will briefly bring up the maze so you can see where you are. It tells you where you're facing, which is quite easy. Well, there you go, this is uh, the labyrinth which you can waste many hours playing. Okay, this is. Um, the original uh, Colossal, Colossal Cave by Crowder and Woods is an excellent port for the, for the pet. This is a disc image which is actually on the SD card in the pet SD. So we've opened the image and I'm now about to run the program. This will be very familiar to anyone who used to play this, as I did in the 1970s. We had a terminal in our building at work, and it was connected to, I believe, it was a PDP-11 mini computer. And someone had loaded the Colossal Cave onto the computer, and uh, we used to uh, waste hours playing <laughs> playing this. And this is an actually uh, this is a very good, uh, very good port of that particular uh, that particular game. Let's see if I can remember actually what to do.
you get the idea. This is a complicated recorded pet.